It all started with a text message. Apple Pay on this iPhone has been disabled due to a network change. Find out more information on how to re-enable your wallet via a mystery link. This link looked suspicious as it wasn't an official Apple domain and so I thought we would see if this was indeed a phishing attempt as I thought it was and what information it was trying to steal. Let's go. Just so you're aware, normally I would advise reporting scam text messages via the National Cyber Security Centre's text line 7726. If you forward the scam text message to this number, then they will arrange to block or ban the sender under investigation. However, today we're going to try and see what information they were trying to get out of me. So I've popped over to my Kali Linux virtual machine and we're going to start doing some preliminary investigations. So I've copied and pasted the full text of the message into a file here so that we can keep an eye on it. It was written in really good English, there don't seem to be any grammatical errors there, uh, but of course the key thing is this link. Now just to make you aware, um, never click a link that's not an official domain. So this is supposedly from Apple Pay. Um, Obviously, it would be a link that was either apple.com or a subdomain of apple.com. It would never be apple-wallet-id47.com. This is obviously a phishing attempt. So um, we're going to hop into our terminal and I'm going to try and find out a bit more about this um, web domain, the Apple Wallet ID 47. So um, I'll just shrink that down a bit for you so we can see both. So we're going to, I'm going to start with a who is to see if we can get any information about the owners of the domain. Okay, so what we've got is it was registered with Alibaba Cloud in Singapore. Um, so that's interesting. So we don't seem to have very much information about the person that registered this domain. So next, I'm going to have a look at which IP addresses it might link to using a dig search. So we have got an answer for dig there. Uh, we've got an A record, which is linking to an IP address, 90.207.238.161. So having taken that IP address and put it into an IP lookup tool, um, I found that it links back to a Sky Broadband ISP connection in central London. Um, we've got a latitude and a longitude there. Um, and the approximate location, therefore, of this IP address is near Charing Cross Station in central London, which is quite interesting to me because I assumed it would be an international scam considering the domain registrar of Alibaba, but it seems not. So um, next, I think we'll have a look at the domain and see what kind of page is there. So I've now entered the domain in my Kali browser uh, with a few uh, web analysis plugins installed and we're just going to see where it takes us. Okay, so that's really interesting. My uh, broadband provider has actually blocked this address because it is phishing malware and spyware, which it seems that some people have got onto it faster than us. So now I'm going to try and bypass that and um, see what's actually on the page. So actually, having tried visiting that page in a few different ways with some different user agents, including Safari mobile ones and using curl and using a VPN, um, it turns out that that page is no longer up, which is great news because it's probably been taken down due to the phishing concern. However, that does mean it's slightly less fun for me, but it's better for people in general. So I will be forwarding that text to 7726. And just remember, if you get any suspicious links, don't click on them, always forward them and stay safe on the internet. See you in the next one. Bye.